There are two questions that I get quite often about ram pumps. The first is, can I use a ram pump in a well or directly in a pond or a lake? And the short answer to that is, no, you can't. The second question that I get quite often is, can I use the ram pump in a closed system such as aquaponics? The answer to that is yes and no. So let me jump over here to the marker board and I will show you a more detailed explanation of the answers to these two questions. Okay, to start off, why won't a ram pump work in a well? So let's say you've got a hand dug well here. I don't know how deep they are, but there you go. And your water is at this level right here. Hopefully you can see that. And you want to bring the water out of your well to uh, use in your crops with a ram pump. So here is the problem. The ram pump requires either head pressure or hydrostatic pressure to work. So if you have, let's say you put your ram pump uh, down here in the bottom. This will represent the ram pump. And you think, well, maybe if I take the drive pipe and put it like up here and float it about halfway, um, it'll work. And then I can take the delivery pipe out of the well like that. So there's actually no change, no uh, pressure in here that'll run the ram pump because first of all, you've got your uh, hydrostatic pressure pushing down and basically, we'll just draw an arrow here to say your head pressure is going up. And these two uh, equal each other because it's the same distance and it, they negate each other. So there's no change in pressure going to the pump because the weight of the water going down is counteracting the, the head pressure. So um, it just won't work. Now I've had some really uh, unique ideas that would maybe get the ram pump working in a situation like this. And uh, they've been fun to look at. So say you've got a pond. Okay, there's your pond. And it is however deep, let's just say like 20 feet deep. So the idea that I've received that was really fun was what if I took a float right here and it floated the drive pipe just under the water, okay? It goes into a sunken tank in the water. Let's say 200 gallon tank, something like that. And then I've got the drive pipe comes through the tank to the ram pump and then I pump out and uphill somewhere. Well, that would work, yes. But let's say you're using a one and a quarter ram pump, one and a quarter inch ram pump. That's gonna consume around uh, eight to 10 gallons a minute. So you're looking at filling a 200 gallon tank in about 24 minutes. And so when that happens, the water inside of this tank is going to match the pond. And now your pump's gonna be stopped and it's gonna have, you're gonna have a tank full of water in the middle of a pond. So yes, it'll work for a short time, but within half an hour using a big pump, system stops and you'd have to find some way of pumping that tank out of there. So that is why the ram pump does not work on a, uh, a stagnant body of water that has no uh, head pressure. Now I do want to note or add that let's say you've got a pond up here on a hill and um, so your hill's going like this. You can use the ram pump here because you can siphon out of the pond and downhill with the drive pipe to the ram pump and then you can pump way uphill from there. So if you can pull water out of a body of water and run it downhill, that will definitely work in a ram pump setup. Question two, can I use the ram pump in an aquaponics setup? The reason I say yes and then no is because of this. Let's say you've got uh, your tank up here with your grow beds. So just do like that. 
and then down here you've got your fish. Okay, seems reasonable. And you're growing something like, uh, I don't know, happy little pine trees or something. Okay, so what's going to happen if you use a ram pump in this setup? Okay, let's say you've got a, a U siphon that's going to drain at this level right here. So here's your U siphon, and you want to attach that to the drive pipe of a ram pump. Okay, so you've got your ram pump here, and it's going to come back and cycle into your grow beds. Okay, here's the problem. Actually, a couple of problems. First of all, uh, let's say up here you've got 100 gallons, and this is going to hold 100 gallons down here. Well, as the water enters into the U siphon, it's going to start the ram pump, and the waste valve is going to shoot out probably up to 90% of the water that's in here. So you're going to have 90% of the water end up in here on the first cycle through. It's going to pump 10% out up here, and so you've got 10 gallons stuck in the bottom down here, never reaching the level to um, hit the U siphon. So that's the main reason that it's not going to work is because all of your water is going to end up down here within the first cycle and it'll never start back. The next reason that this was not going to work in this kind of setup is let's say between your grow beds and your floor down here, is three feet, so three feet distance between here and here. That's going to give you the potential to pump water up to about 20 feet or so. The three feet is going to require a back pressure on the pump to keep it pressurized of about 10 feet or so. So this automatically has to be on a stand up here at least 10 feet above the grow beds which is awkward and so uh, and it's, it's going to pr provide probably about anywhere from a half gallon to a gallon a minute at this point back down in here so uh, anyway this that's another reason that you'd have to it wouldn't really work because you would have to stick this way up in the air and it would just be you couldn't have it inside you couldn't have it you know, in a greenhouse uh, because of the back pressure issue. So anyway, those are just a couple of reasons why it will not work there. My suggestion on having aquaponic system is if you're not, you can't use a ram pump from this point on. So we'll just take that out. And so really the best solution that I've seen is you've got your U siphon here, which drains back down in here. And when that uh, happens, this will flush out real quick and then just a uh, electric pump down here will pump water back up um, and it'll just fill up again and start the, the situation over. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. I know that it's kind of uh, sad that the ram pump's not going to work in a well or pond and that you can't really use the ram pump in an aquaponics setup. The ram pump is really amazing for a continual fresh supply of water. But these uh, closed systems or a static system, it's just not going to work for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got some great information to add to this video, write that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. I'll see you next time. Bye.